camera. I lost my camera on Sunday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. And it was like, you know, I knew I had it and then maybe half an hour later, I couldn't find it. And so, since then, so that was Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It was like five days looking for this camera. If I had hair, I'd be pulling it out. Um, Jim helping me look for the camera, brainstorming where I hadn't looked for the camera, looking again and again in the same places that I'd already looked for the camera. Finally today, I went out and I bought a new one. You didn't miss much. So five days without the camera, what did you miss? I did get chemo. Say hi to the new camera. Hey camera. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, love. Hey, you have to look at this. This um you have to look at this photo that somebody just sent me online. This is from the page, Animals with Stuffed Animals. So funny! <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. There's some funny pictures in here. Not as funny as that one. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've got to quickly show you. I'm running late, but... The t-shirts came in. For the, um... For the, let me put this up here, this will work. For the, um, so my brother and my husband are in this relay race. There's 12 members of the team. And I designed them a t-shirt. Can you guess that it's a breast cancer charity? <laughs> the fundraiser? So their team is called the Over the Hills, because it's a bunch of middle-aged runners. And they're running uh, 200 miles. There's, there's um... And the logo, let me, I gotta get going, so I'll talk about it later. But there's the logo. And, uh, it's supposed to be like breasts, like running over the hills. And you're over the hills, and they're over the hill. So, and I, that's all very subtle, but I wanted to make a, a bold statement about how vulnerable we all are. So, wearing two great big bullseyes on your breasts was my idea of... Stepping it up. Anyway, that's what the shirts look like. And um, I sold them as a fundraiser, and I had hoped to sell 30. I sold 72. It's still Friday morning. I've swam, I had a big breakfast, and uh, took my time with that. And, um, and now I have several errands I want to run. This is boring. I'm going to turn this off. You don't need to know all my errands. I'm getting groceries. <laughs> and now they're sleepy. It got sleepier since we got... <laughs> oh, you're sleepy. The exceptional moments of my day deserve video <laughs> Standing in the, in the local food, food co-op with my friend Jeannie. Hello. And, and her new family member. <laughs> How old is he? Three and a half months. Wow. Yeah. Well, you, you don't look like exhausted like you're supposed to. No, no. I, he lets me sleep for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's good. He's a good boy. He's like 17 pounds now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's a mammoth boy. Yeah. Oh. Look, there's your mom. Yeah. Who's got you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He said Amy! I think he did. <laughs> and I'm hoping to go get some plants from the nursery. I have a friend who runs a plant nursery that she starts... I think today's the day that she starts selling plants out of her nursery um, for the season. Because it's now is the time when I can start putting stuff in the ground. Chase my cat though. I'm in trouble. None of the cats. No. These are the best plants in town. This is, this is easy. 
think it's called? The Yukon Extension Service, like the home gardening something. Okay, and it's, then, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's at Yukon. And they, and they, they might test stuff just because they want to know too? Or they, they might. They're not going to like charge me to do that? Yeah, oh. they might. They've tested oh, okay. stuff for me. Cool. Yeah. All right, you, all right, I don't even have to try to remember. It's on tape. It's on tape. It's tape so you're good. Yes. <laughs> That's my husband in front of me. Uh, back to um, Commerce Land because my camera broke and all I did was put it down. In fact, I put it down in grass and something internally just shattered inside the camera. And uh, I was, I couldn't believe it. I had it for less than a day and I, um, never dropped it there wasn't a scratch on it so I ended up going back to the store and pleading with three levels of staff first one like a uh, sales clerk and then a manager and then the manager of the manager and they ended up I mean they, you know I understand the position they're in like having to take my word for it that I didn't do anything to the camera but I was like shaking. <laughs> I was like wanting to grab the guy by the cheeks and say, I wish you had been there as lapels or whatever and say, I wish you had, wish you could have seen it. I didn't do anything. I just like the screen just, psh. and there's no damage on the outside of the camera. And I was pointing that out. I think he kind of, like he kind of, he believed me, but he, you know, had to keep that, you know, possible. So he, there was a compromise struck. I, there was a stricken, a compromise was stricken? No. But anyway, the deal that we ended up with was that I bought the accidental damage protection plan like a day late and they let me just use that as an exchange. So I've got two years of protection on this camera now. Spent 60 bucks on that. But it's probably worth it because, you know, I tend to break things, but I didn't break that one. I didn't, I swear to you. It wasn't my fault. So anyway, my husband was on his way home from work and I had to drive basically halfway to his work to do this. So um, he met me here, which was kind of silly in a way because all we had to do was say hi. Now we're gonna go walk the dog together. Um, and that would be nice. But we would have been doing that by now if I didn't have to do this errand. So anyway, thanks for listening. It's a beautiful evening. See? How many miles will you run today? I don't really know. Usually it's 12 to 13, maybe 14. How about you, Millie? Oh. Do you always have to be licking me? Is that it? Well, I'm guessing I'm going for 40. 40 mile run. Wow. Ha ha ha. That's awesome. 40 mile bike ride. That's still awesome. Millie will hold the couches down while we're gone. And then we'll take her out. Saturday morning. <laughs> Two days till chemo. Ugh. I'm so looking forward to not having to say that anymore. crop of flowers. Another new crop of flowers. That's the apple tree in the backyard. Big, big crop of rhubarb, that green stuff. And there's peas and lettuce and kale and other things coming up in the garden. But best of all, I've got a new crop of hair. <laughs> Very white, but it's coming in. 
Okay, I just showered. I just had a 40 mile bike ride and now I am going to have some food. And then my dog is going to have a walk. And so is my husband. This is amazing. It's afternoon. It's after one. And she's not antsy at all. She pretty much just slept on the couch while we went out and got big workouts. Yep. What's up, Mills? Ready for action? I think she's ready. Yeah. Let's get her out of here, huh? <laughs> There's probably some dog psychology thing if your dog is licking all the time that that's a problem. I think she just likes the taste of everything. That's what I'd like to think. Waiting for her to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. 